What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we are continuing our look at Wave 2 of the Transformers trading card game, Rise of the Combiners, by having a little bit of a look at a card that can give you extra upgrades. And a card which can get rid of some of these upgrades. We're going to look at a pair of battle cards which were revealed by the lovely folks over at the Raw Bots. I will, of course, pop a link to their reveal in the description. So, what do we have here? Well, first of all, we've got Scrounge. It is an action card with an orange and a green pip. Orange pip means if you flip it while attacking, you get plus one attack. Green pip means that if you flip it while attacking or defending, then you may choose at the conclusion of the battle to discard a card from your hand and pick it up. It basically guarantees that either you draw into it or you get it after flipping, either way, you are going to be able to find it, and that is lovely. But what does it actually do? Will it read, scrap the top card of your deck? If it's an upgrade, you may play it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is either absolutely phenomenal, or a complete and utter waste. Now, I'm not going to spend too long dwelling on this particular point, but obviously, if you flip this... And it's an action, because it can only be actions or upgrades at the moment. Maybe there'll be more in the future, but as it stands, actions and upgrades. If you flip this and it's an action, then you're just discarding the top card of your deck. And maybe you get rid of a blue pip and then you attack and there's an orange pip and you get a bonus in that way. It's not exactly the main thing we're worried about here. So essentially, if you're playing this in an upgrade-heavy deck, the chances are you get to play an extra upgrade. And if you're not playing it in an upgrade-heavy deck, I mean... Why? You're probably going to want to play it in an upgrade heavy deck. And when I'm looking at this, one of the cards that immediately springs to mind for me is Megatron Arrogant Ruler, the card that I was lucky enough to be able to reveal. You see, Megatron Arrogant Ruler has a couple of things I really like about it. I mean, a whole bunch of things I really like about it. But specifically, I'm thinking of the alt mode skill. When you flip to this mode, you may play an upgrade. And then, of course, when you're in bot mode, you get to discard an upgrade from your hand. And if you do, draw two cards. And both of these skills would lead you to play a very upgrade-heavy deck. You need upgrades in your hand to discard to draw, and upgrades in your hand to attach. So all of a sudden, if you're playing an upgrade-heavy deck here, in comes Scrounge. If you're playing, I don't know, let's say for argument's sake, 30 upgrades, 10 actions, then you've got a 75% chance of hitting an upgrade here. Now that's a 75% chance when you've got a full 40-card deck. In reality, you're going to be playing things here and there, and that percentage is going to go up and down. But now you're getting extra upgrades out. And that's kind of ridiculous. Imagine if you're attaching an upgrade for your turn. And then you're attaching an upgrade by flipping into Megatron Arrogant Ruler. And then you're attaching an upgrade with Scrounge. This gets pretty gosh darn good pretty gosh darn quickly. And it means that you can set yourself up with these upgrades incredibly fast. Because the thing is, in the Transformers TCG, you can have a weapon, you can have an armor, and you can have a utility. The thing is, you can only attach one upgrade per turn. So actually here, it's going to be quite rare that you find yourself in a position where you've got a weapon and an armor and a utility on the same card. It's not going to happen all that often. But let's take Megatron as an example. One utility I really like here is Crushing Treads. It can only be put onto tanks, but it gives you Pierce equal to your defense. So what you want to do is try up your defense as much as you can. You get Pierce equal to your defense. That sounds pretty gosh darn good to me. And then, of course, you can play Fusion Cannon of Megatron here, which admittedly doesn't really help with your defense, but it very much helps with your attack, and it helps with Pierce, and then, incidentally, you've got a blue icon there, so if you're going heavy defense when you're defending, this is going to help you. But you get plus one attack, which is nice, and you get Pierce free. So there's a weapon you've got, and a utility, and then you're going to need some kind of armor to chuck on here as well. I don't know, let's say, for argument's sake, armor plating. The thing is, what you have here is you're having a really big advantage because you're able to have all three of these when your opponent's probably not going to be able to get 
one of each on each of their characters. And that's what you get here. You get the advantage by having extra upgrades. But it actually goes a little bit further than this, because what you can do is cycle these. So Armed Hovercraft is an amazing card that I love very much for ranged characters. You get plus one attack, you got a blue pit, but really, when you put it on a ranged character, you do one damage to each enemy. So what I'm thinking here is you attach it, and then you attach another one, and then you attach another one. You can attach as many weapons as you like, you've just got to get rid of the one that was on there previously. You can replace any of your upgrades whenever you like. Get rid of the old one, put on a new one, jobs are good enough. And here, you're constantly putting the armed hovercraft on, which means you're constantly getting this extra damage. And that's what you get with a card like this. You get extra upgrades. There's plenty of cards out there that will allow you to attach extra upgrades. Take something like New Designs, for instance. You get to just play an extra upgrade. The thing is, you've got to have New Designs in your hand, and you've got to have the upgrades you want in your hand, and then you're playing two cards in one turn, but you're only drawing one card per turn. So you can see here how you end up not having the card advantage after a while. What's great with this card, what I love about Scrounge, is that you get a card advantage by playing a card that wasn't in your hand. You draw a card, you play a card. That's what's great here. If you're not playing a super upgrade heavy deck, I worry that it's just a little bit too light. But if you are playing an upgrade heavy deck, I am somewhat of a fan of this. And certainly with Megatron Arrogant Ruler, you've got to be trying this because that works best in a deck where you're playing a whole bunch of upgrades. And oh look, n now you're doing a whole bunch of upgrades. Also, incidentally, if you're trying to run through your deck rather quickly so you can cycle through and reuse your cards, this helps you just to run through your deck that little bit faster. A card I'm less keen on at the moment is Smelt. I don't like Smelt very much, and it is an upgrade focus card, so I thought have a quick look at it in this video as well. Incidentally, I like giving each card their own video, but that's not always possible with time, so do let me know if you like me doing one video on each, or you like me to double them up occasionally. No promises, as always, I'll have to make the decision, but do let me know which you prefer. Slightly less depth, two in one, or really digging deep into each. So this card here has a blue pip and a green pip. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think the green pip is about the only thing I particularly like about this card. Because it's just not great. The green pip means that you can basically find it. Either you draw into it, or you flip it while attacking or defending, discard a card from your hand, put it in your hand. So you're going to find it. You're going to find smelt when you want it. Outside of this, I don't really like it. Because the thing is here, it's basically ramming speed. I should probably tell you what it does, shouldn't I? Your opponent chooses one of their upgrades and scraps it. Your opponent scraps one upgrade attached to one of their characters. Okay. So it's basically just a worse version of ramming speed. You see, ramming speed allows you to choose one of your opponent's upgrades and scrap it. And it's got an orange icon. Now, to be fair, Smelt's got a blue icon. So if you want to be going full blue, you don't really want to play ramming speed. So this is maybe another reason to play this. But generally speaking, no. Because the problem here is that you're letting your opponent make the choice. So they might have a character which is about to get KO'd. So scrapping a card from that character is going to be way less of an issue than it would be on a really good character. Or let's say for argument's sake, I mean, go back to one of my favorite cards. It is an armor, I assure you. It's not a utility. Force field. Force field guarantees you only take four damage from an attack. Can't take more than four. So, if your opponent is about to attack, but before they attack, they play a smelt, and they can do enough damage to get a KO on one of your characters, don't choose Force Field. Scrap something else. And your opponent is going to want you to get rid of the Force Field. Now, maybe Force Field's the only upgrade you've got on the field, in which case, they'll get rid of it. But honestly, there are two reasons to play this over ramming speed. Number one, if you're desperate for a blue icon deck. Number two, it's got a green icon, which means you can draw it. You can play free ramming speed in your deck, always flip them while attacking or defending, and never actually get the chance to play any of them at any point during the game.
It is absolutely possible that you never see a ramming speed, whereas with smelt, either you draw into it or you flip it and use a green icon. You will guarantee to be able to find it. But that's about the only way in which I can recommend it. It is a worse version of ramming speed, but it's got a blue and a green icon if that's what you're into. So Smelt, not a particularly huge fan, although I can see the use for it. Scrounge, I am a big fan, but because it's so situational, I'm thinking if you're probably going any less than 25 upgrades, I don't know if it's worth actually using. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you're thinking about things that I'm not thinking about. So do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the most important rule as always. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk about Transformers and other games. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... Wassy plays.